Hello. How's everyone doing today? It's almost Easter. It is almost time for a new episode of Wonderful Precure. Hello, babies. Hello, Queen Aqua. Hello, Ash. Hello, Kirbu. Hello, Karimar. Hello, Emil. Hello, I don't know. Hello, Sparkle. Hello, Trio. Hello, Kira Cosmo. Hello, Kira Hirogaru. Hello, Emmanuel. Hello, Josh. Hello, Tyrone. Hello, Anthony. Hello, Pixie. Hello, babies. How's everybody today? Is everyone doing good? Is everyone feeling fine? When I was when I was opening the live stream today, I found an option. I found an option that I did not know existed. So I'm gonna try it out. Okay. Hello, Christina. Not Aguilera. Uh, questions and answers Q and A. Why did the chat disappear? What happened? Oh, now I found it. Musical timing, girl. <laughs> Hello, Geronimo! Last wonderful stream of March. I love this screen. 
I the March screen is very cute. Very cute. Anything on the mid-season? No. <clears throat> no. I mean, I think we can consider Lillian and Yami mid-seasons. Do you guys think Lillian and Yami are coming in April? Because I don't. I will say I will tell you why. Hello, Masked. Hello, Train Hunter. It's almost time for the April screen, which will be friendly. It has to be friendly. She did not have her own screen. It will be her. So, as I was saying, what was I saying? I don't think it's gonna be April because. I believe. Look, this is just my theory. This is just my theory. Uh, oh my god, what did I do? Uh, not, nothing con concrete or anything, but. I believe that last week's episode, which was episode 8, in last week's episode, I believed we were gonna see Mayu. Sorry. I believe we were gonna see Mayu watching the girls fight and learn about the precures. And that would probably trigger something about Nyami and Lilith. It did not happen. So now I'm thinking, no. Nyami did, Yuki did see uh, what happened. Yuki did see Komugi. Coming to see Komugi go to school with Iroha. Yes! It's today! I don't feel like they're coming in April. Same. Komugi can actually do homework assignment in class. I love Lillian ever since her leak. Me too. Girl. I love Lillian, but I think I'm I'm learning a little more. I'm leaning, learning. I'm leaning more towards Nyami. Trophy girls in uniform is modern. Girl, very modern. Uh, and Komugi is wearing shorts, not a skirt. I love it. Uh, how she like Dira? I love theorizing. I don't know if this is working. My own UK are taking too long to transform. I'm okay with this. I'm okay. If they come in June, I'm I'm fine with it. If they come in June, I'm fine. As I've been saying, I have been waiting for them to come in June. I've been waiting. Oh my god, Creania! Thank you! Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you want me? Hello, Halt! Hello, hello! Crearia, since it's March 30, do you want me to put... Uh, do you want me to put Candy on screen next month? Or do you want him this screen? Because. I'm loving this screen, so we're getting back to that tradition of taking pictures of the screen. Okay. We are, we're gonna take a picture of the screen to save it posteriority. This is the second wonderful Precure screen, not the first. This is the second, but we're gonna take a picture of it and it's gonna live forever. Your choice, Kadadi, your choice. Thank you! Look at a dog. Sitting there like that. Just watch. Very different than Komugi. If it was Komugi, she would not be there. Just sitting down. Okay, Kreata. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nami's gonna be one of my supreme faves. She's just not gonna be one of my supreme... Su I mean, she might be. She might be. I was gonna say no, she's not gonna be because she doesn't fight, but that doesn't matter. 
Let's go, let's add candy to the screen. One of Creadia's characters. Oh! I have something to say. I have lots of things to say. But... Creadia, thank you very much for the super chat! Thank you! Thank you for calling the wonderful... Wonderfulness. Wonderful! Wonderful! What, 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 what? I love that. So let's add Creadia's candy to the screen. Look at that, look at that. Creadia! Candy is going where? If you look at this beautiful character that Creadia has created, it's very clear to know where she's gonna be. She is gonna be part of the green side of the screen because this month we have so many green characters. Ooh, I love this. Where is she going to be? She's going to be like here. Thank you! And thank you for adding the greenness to the screen. Thank you. Thank you. Let me go back to the chat. Let me go back. Let me go. Uh, what if Komiki is wearing shorts? Does that mean make the fourth creature wearing shorts? Girl, I don't know. Is it? Is it? I, th I thought it was like the first. But you know, my memory, you know how my memory goes. Are you a good boy, Jemming? Are you? I'm a very good boy. I'm currently calling Kirsinasi. Time for Komugi to learn the horror of school days and no nice boat. Komugi will be a C student. <laughs> oh my god. Boy curious can't just be in crazy colors. They can also be allowed to be in pink, blue, and yellow. Pink, blue, and yellow. Stop saying that this is a curse to so many Precure fans. Don't say that word. I'm ready to say Komugi. Me too, Josh. Very excited. Made a new artwork of you and Curious Cinema. Of course, we are going to show that, Karimar, when it's time to show the art for today. We're definitely showing that one. Wonderful. Hello, PlayStation Sheep. Love you think Komugi will eat her homework. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not gonna do that. <laughs> oh my god. We have the same amount of brain cells that, that Komugi does. We all. Like, honestly. Is there someone here in the chat that has more brain cells than Komugi? And I include myself in that. I don't think so. Hello, Manani! Hello, Art Block. Hello, hello. Lillian and Yami, we don't know when they are debuting. We have no idea. There is nothing about their debut. I still believe in June. Bring me June. Bring me cures in my birthday. I want it. Yuki is my favorite cat. Show us Kabat on screen. This is the best screen we've ever had in Magical Cinnamon, isn't it? Best one. Best one. Candy's from the latest movie on my YouTube channel. First Bloom, love the production. It turned out so good. We're gonna check that out. We are gonna check that out, baby. I mean, not here, but I, I need to. Hello, Rosie. My favorite Kirato Pichan character. Who's my favorite? I think my favorite is Anna. I think my favorite is Anna. I like Anna. Design wise, it's Sada, but I think Anna's my favorite. I, I haven't I haven't watched much. I have watched like until episode 10 or 11 or something. June 5th is a Wednesday, yes. And I need 
It's my birthday. I, I need to be on vacation. Kerata Prichan is easily the worst season. What? It's the best one! Oh my god! Let's block. I don't know what to write. I mean, I have never watched a full season of the previous series. I hope the Himitsu no Aipri is gonna be my first. I hope so. I will try. I will try. Is it next week? Or is it on the other one? Or were there more Kabatons than last time? Kabatons are multiplying. Precure fandom, yes, I did notice that. I love this detail. I miss Hirogaru Sky 2 a lot. Where is Hirogaru Sky? My queen is here. Look, I, today, you know what I was watching today? Before starting the stream? Ojama Jawa, Koko ni iru, no 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 I don't know how to sing that song, but I was watching the anime. Aldi 2.0, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. Thank you. So, I was watching it. I watched the first two episodes. I have already watched them, but I needed to watch them again to remember. That baby! I hope the baby grows up soon. Like, it already pissed me off in two episodes. Hun. Hello, teacup! Onaji teacup, teacup, miruku irete teacup. I love this song too. I love songs. I love music. How are you doing, teacup? Batamonda. Oh, Aldi. It's your name too. Look, uh, a preacher dad's screen. Oh my god. Remember the dad tier list? If you are new here, there is a Precure Dad tier list that I have done. Can I find it again? Here. If you'd like to do one... I'm gonna leave a link there. <laughs> oh, Pixie, no, I have watched the first season of Doremi. It's been like 10 years ago. No, not 10 years, not that much. No, it's been 10 years. It's been like 10 years or something. But I have watched the first season of Doremi already. I have. But I, so I, I watched the first season and then I started watching Sharp. I watched like four or five episodes of Sharp and then I stopped. So that's why I, I returned in Sharp because if I'm gonna return to the first season, I'm not gonna watch it. Because girl, <laughs> I like, I loved it. But at the same time, there is one episode for each of their classmates. Girl, I can't do <laughs> I miss Hirogaru Sky Precure so much. I miss Cure Wing and the other four cures. I miss them all. I even miss Batamonda. I miss uh, Minoton. I miss everybody. I miss Yo-Yo. I miss the king and the queen that we barely saw. I miss everyone. But yeah, I'm watching Sharp, and then after Sharp, I don't know if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna continue watching the other Doremi seasons, because you know another one that I need to watch as well? We all should. 
Creamy Mommy. I'm gonna watch Creamy Mommy. I have watched Creamy Mommy like the first five episodes again. Uh, but I'm gonna watch everything. So many magical girls. Now I'm gonna focus on magical girls. Why wasn't I focusing on magical girls? But I will. I miss Kira Wing so much. Me too, Matthew. Watch your video when you interview the voice actors of Kira Press and Comic Comic. Maddie, it wasn't me interviewing them. I was just like going through an interview that they did in a magazine. If I was able to interview one of the voice actors of Free Cure, I wouldn't be, I would be like, Already. I miss background character number 38. <laughs> <laughs> me, me with Hirogaru Sky. I mean, yes, I agree. Uh, ow. Sorry. I agree about uh, Wonderful. I'm having a good time with Wonderful. You know, I agree. But, you don't got a sky. Ah, I'm suffering. I don't suggest watching all of Dorimi as a whole, but that's just my opinion. Pixie, the problem is that there are so many episodes. It's so big. I, I, I do understand, like, it's like smaller than Precure, you know, but, you know, it's a lot. How many seasons are there? Are there three, four? How many seasons? I care so much about your Dorimi viewing experience. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. And Hazuki-chan! She's so cute! Hello, can I get a happy birthday song certain? Jay Lulu! We are gonna sing for Jay Lulu. Because Jay Lulu wasn't here. What current basics are the colors? Blue and yellow, not pink. Why not pink? Why not pink? Hello, Magical! Hello! How are you doing? Let's sing for Jay Lulu. Jay Lulu's month was one month ago. Was it February 30? Jay Lulu, you're lying to me. It was not February 30. I'm joking. I know what you mean. What are we gonna use for today's happy birthday? Fue Coco and Elena. Let's go. And the beat goes on, and the beat goes on. I'm a happy girl, I'm a happy girl. It's my birthday song, oh yeah, it's my birth. I'm a happy girl, I'm a happy girl. Bah, bah. I know it's gonna be a good day, oh yeah. Today's my birthday. It's my birthday every day. Da, da. My type of party, there's no hangover. Na 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 na, you better come over. We get high and we still stay sober. My type of party, there's no hangover. And the beat goes on, and the beat goes on. <laughs> Happy birthday, J. Lulu! Happy birthday! Yay! I hope you had a magical day on March 10th. March. Is Cure March your favorite cure? If it's not your favorite cure, you are getting banned right now. Let's ban Jai Lulu as well. Hello, Cha Chaotic Gamer. Hello. How are you? Uh, let's read the synopsis for today's episode. There's a very important person uh, for me that is that has dengue, and I'm so worried about them. I'm so worried about them. I keep on checking them like every five minutes, and then I know it's irritating because when you have dengue, I mean, dengue is a is a something that does not happen like in lots of places in the world because it is what they call a third world country uh, <clears throat> disease. 
and I had it like two years ago and it was the worst experience of my life and I've had a lot of things, you know. I had a lot of things, girl. Uh, what was I gonna do? Okay. Let's go for synopsis. Today's synopsis. Uh, where is it? Where is it here? So today is episode... Today's episode 9. Today's episode 9. <laughs> today's episode 9. Episode 9. Middle school student Komugi. Komugi has a dream where she and Iroha went to school together. When she wakes up, she sees Meimei in front of her. What? To her surprise, the killing animals have returned and due to... Re to the returning radiance of the Nico Diamond, Komugi is now able to go to school. What does it mean? Komugi puts on her new school uniform and goes to school with Iroha. When she sees the soccer club's morning practice on the field, she mistakenly thinks they're playing with a dog's ball and runs out to catch the shot wonderfully. <laughs> Later, when Komugi introduces herself as a new transfer student in the morning assembly, she is challenged to a match by Igari Masaru, the member of the soccer club who shots, whose shots she had stopped during the morning practice. However, Komugi again catches all of Igari's shots, and they finally admit defeat. During lunch break, the now popular Komugi eats side dishes that her classmates shared with her and gets full. She then becomes sleepy and reverts back to her dog form. Ooh, honey. This episode is gonna be very funny, I feel like. <clears throat> this is gonna be very, very chaotic, very funny. And uh, <clears throat> I think that Iroha is gonna be very tense. Like, the one of the funny things about this episode is gonna be, is gonna be seeing Iroha in all of her tenseness because Komugi is going to revert back to being a dog uh, when she eats like when after she eats after she's full she reverts back to being a dog so this is going to be interesting to see oh god <laughs> it's going to be but the one thing that's making me the most curious is the fact that uh Meime, like they're they're going to appear and <clears throat> how does the power of the Nico Garden affects Komugi. And why does it make her go to school? Like, why does it make it possible for her to go to school? What is it? Does it change reality? Does it affect reality? Like, okay, now she has a family. She has, like, people care. What, like, what is actually going on? I'm curious. Very curious. And I feel like this is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. And, um... Another thing that I am excited for in this episode is the fact that it seems they're going to fight the swan, the, the Garu Garu swan. And now we're probably going to see the swan, the kidding animal, the swan kidding animal. This makes me excited. This makes me very excited. Anyways, let's see if this thing works. The, the question stuff. In Sehar. Hello, Puff Ping. Oh, another thing about this episode, uh, we have the staff for it, basic staff. And the screenplay is done by Kanbayashi Yusuke. So this is another episode that is not written by uh, <clears throat> Yoshimi Narita. Narita was writing most of the episodes at the start of the show, so she's not writing this one. So she's probably gonna she's probably gonna come back to writing when we have like a super important episode to the season. And another thing, we don't have the episode titles for April yet. We're probably gonna have in like Tuesday, Wednesday. It's usually when we have <clears throat> the episode titles. April 
also makes me excited for another thing, which is the MT Ribbon Tambourine. Or is it Ribbon Amity Ribbon? Amity Ribbon, or Ribbon Amity. What's the name of the weapon again? Amity Ribbon, right? Amity Ribbon. Uh, the Amity Ribbon Tambourine is getting released early May. And I'm saying this makes me excited because it's probably going to be seen <clears throat> in April. We're probably going to see it in April. Like, we're going to see some merch pictures in April of the item. That's why I believe no Nyami and Lillian in April. Um, I'm like, I'm torn. I'm leaning more towards May. Uh, but I feel like there's, there's going to be something about Yuki. There's got to be something about Yuki. Next week's episode is a Yuki episode. And maybe that's when she's going to turn into a human for the first time. Maybe it's going to be a little different than Komugi. Like Komugi turned into a human <clears throat> and into a cure in the same episode. Maybe for Yuki it's going to be a little different. She's going to become a human and then she will become a cure later on. My theory right now is that she's going to become a human and she's going to live her life as a human without Mayu knowing that it's actually Yuki. Like, oh, she doesn't know it's her cat, you know. She's going to interact with the girl without knowing that she is her cat. I'm very curious. Very curious. Hello, Marachi. Welcome back. Hello, T. Hello. How are you? The episode is out. Kerbu, no. We always start the live stream two hours and a half before the episode airs in Japan. So, uh, just, just for you to know. So, if the live stream's up, that means that the episode hasn't aired yet. <laughs> Yuki will be a mo lot more independent as, as human than Komugi, for sure. Hello, Starlight! Hello, Mirishiki! I'm sure that we can get some food during lunch. I'm already hungry. Where's my food? After seeing that Yuki leak a while back, I can't wait to see her human form in action. Same. Same, same, same. And that shot of Yuki and Mayu in the opening, that is so mysterious. Like, what do they mean by that? Why do they look... Why does Mayu look kind of sad? I, and Yuki looks sassy. So I feel like Yuki's gonna do something to Mayu. Like, she's gonna help Mayu break out of her shell without Mayu knowing that she's actually Yuki, you know? Like Kurumishi, since she never told anyone she was milk. Right? She was living as Kurumi for a while. That was fun. That was fun. So yeah, I'm very curious. Uh, I think this is one thing that is making me the most curious <clears throat> for Wonderful. There are two things that are making me very... Three things that are making me very curious for Wonderful. The first one is the mid-season cure. We know nothing about them. If it's going to be one, if it's going to be two, who is it going to be? The color, we know nothing. I am very curious, and I believe that we all, we are all going to be, we're all going to be very curious. And um, another thing that makes, the second thing that's making me very curious, the generals of this season, are they animals that were hurt? Because I feel like they're not going to fight the generals either. So they're going to hug the generals. <laughs> they're going to hug the generals too. So uh, the generals are that. And the third thing, what will trigger Nyami and Lillian's arrival in the season? What's going to happen for them to arrive? How is the story going to go? I am curious. I'm super curious. Saying, what do they mean by that to an opening cut just make me laugh so hard? <laughs> Hello, Imani. Hello. Oh my god. Yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, we, like, okay, I, I, I admit, I like grasping for straws. I always, like, look at the openings and I analyze every single frame, even if they don't mean anything. 
I like this kind of thing. I like doing this kind of thing. You know, sometimes they don't mean much, but it's nice. It's nice. Yuki will definitely say, not anymore, girl, and leave Mayu behind, then return like seven episodes later, only to say that she loves her lesbian owner, and they'll transform. <laughs> oh my god, Jay Lulu. I love that. I love that. Guys, when, when more than one message is posted at the same time, it's probably a connection issue. So, you know, it's not that the person was uh, spamming, you know. Two color breaks since one delicious party currently back in action. Good job, Amarachi. Welcome back. Hello, Shine. Hello. I don't know how this question and 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 thing works. Like I don't know. I don't know how to see the question. I don't know how to see the question. The questions. Or is it because there are none? Maybe that's raw. That's why. I don't know how it works. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube rings. The stuff, but I don't know how to work with them. For the last time, is Nyami a blue or a white cure? Nyami is a blue cure. I totally agree with you. I also wonder what they mean by that. The free. <laughs> oh my god. But honestly, hello, Ariel. Hello, 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 hello. Do a poll. We are going to do a poll. We are. What is Cure Nyami's color? Is she blue or is she white? Because we love color wars. <laughs> Honestly, I believe she's going to be a blue cure because uh, everything about her, like, merch points to blue. But <clears throat> art block, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that at all. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm calm. I'm calm. <laughs> I'm calm. I'm just joking. I like because the person who asked that asked in all on caps. And when people write that, it feels to me that they're screaming. So that is why I screamed back. But I'm, I'm just joking. Try to open the bubble. But it. When I click there, it says it's going to remove all the questions from the list. I don't want to remove the questions. I want to see the questions. Ooh, girl. I accidentally voted blue and wanted white. Good job, Geronimo. Good job, good job, good job. Last year, Prism was marketed as a white cure because the pink spot was taken. If there was a blue six ranger in Wonderful, her much would be all white. <laughs> I can't. I can't deal with the chaos. I love the chaos. But yeah, I believe she's a blue cure because of the merchandise. If if I was going to look at her design, I was going to say she's a white cure. Because I think she has more white than blue. But the marketing for her is all blue. It's all blue. So, I don't know. Because, like, the silhouette. Remember when they, they released the silhouettes for Wonderful? Her silhouette was blue. Like, it was very easy to make a white silhouette for Nyami. But they made it blue. But honestly, if we have a book, 25th anniversary. Twenty-fifth anniversary. 
It's gonna bring us another book, and we will discover. We will discover. <clears throat> Cosmo was also meant to be. Why? What are you scared of, Emil? Cosmo was also meant to be a blue cure in her merch, but she wasn't. The same thing happened with Summer. Yeah. Yeah. But they are rainbow. It's hard to merge rainbow stuff. Like, as rainbow, like, when you have, like, a small spot, it's, it's hard. Sometimes it is hard. This is me. This is my argument. This is my argument. <laughs> because I want her to be blue. I don't want her to be anything. I just want her to be amazing the one thing <clears throat> okay don't 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 come at me okay don't come at me don't come at me okay at this but the one thing i'm not very excited about is with her transformation because the transformations in this season they're not very exciting you know? They're not very exciting. It also have the Cure Finale, but Cure Finale is gold. No one is gold. It's just Cure Finale because they wanted it to be different you know <laughs> oh my god i'm joking but honestly don't even bring up finale 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 girl it was a mess it was a mess but i love i love that she was um that she was gold it took everyone by surprise it took everybody by surprise that I love that. Precure color court. Objection! This is me and Shine. Shine is saying something and I'm like, objection! And I say something and Shine says, objection! Who's gonna throw a cup, a mug of coffee in each other's faces? Bam. Who is going to incorporate a dead spirit? Bring it on. Why is Cosmo officially rainbow if she's mostly blue? Ooh, girl! There lies the question. But yeah, she is a rainbow cure. What about Summer? She was always sold with tropical colors most of the time instead of white. Yes. What do you all think of how the 25th anniversary movie will bring us? Another beautiful festival. <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of them. They're okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't think they're bad. But I don't think they are like stellar you know hello cure wing the same goes with the attack i remember that in the last room you showed my cure gotcha designs is it okay if i show some more of course of course bring them to me bring them to me send them to me and i'll show them when i'm gonna show the arts i'll show yours uh your gotcha designs too bring them to me bring them everyone stop with the chaos no, I, I say don't stop with the chaos. Bring the chaos. I really like the transformation music, but the transformations themselves are just all right. Unless you were spoiled with amazing transformations and attacks. I agree. It's gonna... I mean, I'm not trying to compare, but it's hard. Like, when we go from what Hirogata was, you know, like, it's hard to top that. Sorry if someone likes the attack, but it's probably one of the worst attacks in the franchise. <laughs> Did you lie, though? It's not bad, though. I think she will officially be white in the 25th anniversary book, but her signature color is blue, because you know white is boring, just like Prism's color was a very light pink. Maybe. Maybe. Lo, what were your thoughts on the 20th anniversary? Did you find it under or overwhelming? Amarachi, I thought it was overwhelming. I thought they did everything and more. The only thing the 20th anniversary lacked was figures. They had to release figures, and they did not. The only, like, cutie, I'm not even counting cutie figures because we have them every year, but, like, we need more pre-cure figures. Where are they? Where are they? 
I don't want cutie figures. I mean, I want cutie figures too, but I also want other type of figures. Bring them. Oh my god. But honestly, look, we had Hirogato Sky, which was a stellar season. Even if you don't like Hirogato Sky, you have to admit that they pulled all the stops when it comes to transformations, when it comes to attacks, when it comes to the story, character designs, and everything. Apart from that, we had the Precure Expo in Japan. People who were in Japan were able to live a big Precure experience. We had Otona Precure. Even if you don't like the season, just Otona existing. Just Otona existing. It's something magical. We had Dancing Star Precure, the first all-male team Precure. We had that. We had... What else we did we have? So, merch. 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 You know, it was... It was intense. It was intense. I almost died, but it was great. I loved it. Like 20th anniversary, it was gorgeous. Chris Pinale's debate was miserable. I like the debates. I like the debates. Bring them on. The civilian storytelling is so much better than the Cure's story this season. I'm liking the... Okay, so let... I'm gonna separate Wonderful into three parts. One of them is the, the magical part, one of them is the human part, and the other one is the cure part. The magical part is really good. Nico Garden, them saving the healing, the kidding animals, and the kidding animals giving them power, making the Nico Garden stronger. Very good. The human part, very good. Probably the best one. I'm loving the characters. I'm loving their interactions. I'm loving how they're being developed. I'm really, really liking it. The cure part of the season, I am disliking it. I am like, I'm not even saying like, oh, it's okay. I'm not liking it anymore. Like at the start I was like, okay, but right now I'm not enjoying it anymore. I hope it becomes better, but I, I'm not liking the chase scenes. Like the transformations are beautiful, but okay. Like they're simple. The attacks, like the duo attack, I did not enjoy very much, but I do like the kidding animals power ups. They're, they're the one thing that make that are making me excited for the cure portion of this season. I'm sorry, I'm losing a lot of uh, <clears throat> a, lo a lot of the Precure fandom is literally the only fandom that gets into wars over colors. I wonder if the Toku fandom does this as well. They probably do. <laughs> they probably do. Every fandom fights over the the stupidest things. Nothing says Precure like Messi, right? Hello, Marion. Hello. World record Precure worst attack ever. Stop that. <laughs> Friendly Benadi flop. Friendly Benadi is the worst Precure attack, sadly. This stream just became a Friendly Benadi hate group. Oh, no. I hate Hirogata Sky Precure. Let's ban Emil from this stream right now. The only thing good is the animation of the attack. We had two figure arts for Dream and Peach, so technically they did it. I mean, they did announce it. They did announce it. They did announce it. I say Like My Delicious is the worst attack, but that's just me. I I don't like my Like My Delicious as much as well. It's very funny because um, every time I watch a Precure attack, I like it. Because, you know, it's the first time, it's flashy, it's colorful. And then I keep on watching it and I'm like, mm, you start noticing the flaws, you know. Lima Delicious, I, like, when I saw it for the first time, I was like, okay, boring. Same for Liberare. But, <clears throat> Teacup, you can send art to me on my Discord. It's Lel Cinnamon. You can send them to me on Twitter. You can send them to me on Instagram. Twitter and Instagram, it's Magical Cinnamon. However, it's easy for you. I, feel, I felt a bit sad that Healing Good didn't appear in Otona. They're coming. They're coming. Maybe. Maybe. I don't even know. Cure La Mer cutie figure. Where is it? Toy animation. Hirogato Sky procures S tier on my tier list. Tyrone, I agree with you. 100%. We're all bankrupt after 20th anniversary. Yes. Yes. Girl, the, the way I spent on Agiha stuff. Never again. I'm never going to do that again. Human part doesn't really work here. Crystal, you are so right. You are so right. Oh my god. Uh, how is Friendly Better the worst attack when Moko Moko Koro diffusioning? 
What the hell? Moko Moko Koro Diffusion is so cool! I like it a lot! Socialization part. Yeah, that's a good name. That's a good name. That's a good name. Uh, how is friend? Oh, okay. I don't mind. Don't have fight in wonderful. Uh, the killing animal summoning looks really good. I agree. One player can partner with any cure team besides delicious party. Why? Why? Delicious party has animals. Like, kinda. So it would. It would work. I feel like. That not liking the chase scenes is the popular opinion. Yeah, I I don't know. I I'm not keeping up much lately. But in the video comments that I have here, people are enjoying it. It seems. Light My Delicious did not give us good shots of the super forms. Exactly why I don't like it. We, we can barely see it. I'm fine without fights, but I wish they would still include some action. Like I wish they would still do like flips in the air and cool stunts like that, even without fighting. I will watch the attack before I ever repeat one play when the series finish. I feel like one way to make Light Metal Delicious better is to combine all the cures food into one big monster dish. What's your favorite precure group attack of the whole franchise? Innocent! I love it. I love the innocent. Innocent. What's the name of the attack? But the one they sing in uh, the power up attack in uh, Happiness Charge. That's probably one of my favorites. I also love. Can we consider a duo attack a group attack or no? Because if it is butterfly and wing, titanic rainbow, titanic rainbow. Which I think they're going to have a power up. They might not have a power up in the season. But they will have one in the movie. They might have one in the movie. It's very rare when we have a movie without a power up. Like a regular movie, not a, an all stars. Power ups for the lead party was so underused. I'm too embarrassed to ask for precure merch. Why? Nothing beats Pumpa Kappa by a shot. That attack. One thing about Delhi Pods is that all the scenes look so beautiful and juicy. Ooh, I loved it. It, it made me very hungry. <clears throat> uh, Papaya shot is better. I That's my favorite attack from the solo attacks from that season. I love it. Innocent purification. Exactly that. I feel like in the Precure fandom, especially on Twitter, you can't critique anything without being called a hater. You are right on that. You're right on that. I love when Cures have finishing statements like in Sweet. Oh, I love it too. I love it. The finales in Sweet or the victories. Oh my god. Harkat's final attack is just perfection. I love it too. The the big one. The the beautiful woman that punches you. I love that attack. Love all the group attacks in Go Princess. Me too, me too. I like them. Jugemu Jugemu is the best attack. I will not agree with you because there is that final attack. In Tropical Rouge with Cure, uh, uh, Cure Oasis. Remember that? That was the best. <laughs> I don't know why I'm embarrassed. I was literally a huge MLP fan. Uh, you don't have to be, you, do, you do sh I mean, you don't have, you shouldn't be embarrassed about that. Honestly, why why should you be embarrassed about something you like? I like honestly don't be oh it's girly. Oh it's don't doesn't matter. I don't care. You know, you shouldn't matter about that, you know. Let's try to leave other people's opinions out out out. Of our minds. Hello, Tixie! Hello! Any thoughts on Dai Jarg? I loved it. Great design. The, the snake? It was the snake, right? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. 
Hey, whimsy and fun. <laughs> Let Mary's victory pose is such a vibe. Why do you if I'm not having fun? I remember I watched until season four of My Little Pony. My Little Pony. Pony. The Prika fandom is really funny because one side is really hard to please and complain a lot. The other feels offended if you don't like something they like. Yeah, I feel like, honestly, like, honest, I feel like we, at least here on YouTube, I feel like there's space for that. Like, I don't see that in the comments of the videos and such. But honestly, like, if you like something, you should be able to say that you like it, why you like it. Even if there's no reason, like, you should be able to say that you like it. Like, for example, if someone comes out here and says, I like Friendly Berare, I will block them. No, honestly, like, I think it's totally fine. Why not? Talk about it. Like, oh, I like this, this and that about the attack. It's totally fine. If you don't like it, that's totally fine as well. I feel like there's space for everything. There is always um, a way of saying things, obviously. Like, if we don't like things, I feel like, uh, depending on where we are discussing some stuff, like, for example, if we're talking about some bad things we think are bad in Toy's official social media, that can be seen by by um, staff or something, you know, so be respectful on how you word it, you know, that if you're doing that, I mean, come on, bring the criticism, you know, like, we have to be free to talk freely about anything, except criticizing Cure Butterfly, that is not allowed anywhere, okay? I'm on the lookout. Hello, Kafu. Hello. Teeny Pig. Poof Ping. Not now. Because now I'm watching Doremi. And then I'm gonna watch Creamy Mommy. Two long shows. Very long shows. So, I'm gonna keep it low, baby. Sweet be nice for music and cat teams. I like that. Unpopular opinion. Ooh. I actually like your parfait. Hey, I love your parfait. Is that an unpopular opinion? I thought she was liked. I mean, I don't know. I didn't think she was like the most loved cure ever, but I thought she was at least liked. I thought she was liked at least. I haven't seen Kira Kira in ages. You should rewatch Kira Kira at least once a year. How come Daijar can be weaker than Godots and Butler? I don't think they were weaker. I think it's just because the Hirogato team was very strong. The Hirogato team was powerful. Powerful, powerful, powerful. <clears throat> I was insecure for liking My Little Pony in anime in middle and high school. I'd get buddied a lot since those are for kids. Crearia, I totally understand that. Like, when I said earlier not like don't be ashamed of things you like i totally forgot one one very important thing which is where you are like what's your social circle if you are a teenager that is that can be hard on you that can lead to bullying i totally forgot about that like because i'm like okay i am an adult like at work people know people have seen my channel at work for example so they know i love precure they know i have a, a a bedroom full of like little dolls colorful things people know that like but i'm an adult so i can you know i don't have to be i don't have to uh say anything and justify myself about anything to anyone else you know so it's a different thing it's it's very different when you are a child or a teenager very different very hard hey how do you feel about brunette haired cure i would like that wait I can't English. Is brunette brown hair? <laughs> yes. Okay. I would like a brunette cure. I would like a brunette cure, I think. Maybe a red, red cure? Brunette hair? I would like that. Scarehead himself did say he was weak on his own. That also has this. <clears throat> that also has this. Which is the weakest in terms of physical strength, ability, combat, skills, in your opinion? Oh my god, Jay Lul, are you making me say it? Are you making me say it? Don't make me say it, please. 
I try to hold myself back, but it comes back to me every time. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say it, I'm gonna show it. The weakest cure we've ever had. Where is it? Oh my God, she's here, she's so pretty, I love her. I love her, but you know, the shade has to continue. Here she is, Jay Lulu. Ta -da! Look at how pretty she is. She's the prettiest cure after a butterfly, but she is. She's so pretty. Guess what I'm getting for my summer birthday? What is it? What is it, Curling? Hello, Sophia. Shiny Luminous. I think Shiny Luminous is very strong. Like, I'm, I mean, if, if you're comparing Shiny Luminous to Black and White, she's obviously gonna be weak because, you know, Black and White. But if you compare Shiny Luminous to like, most of the cures from the most recent years, honey, honey, I love Shiny Luminous. Frandy's hair transformation. That is the biggest downgrade in Precure history. Oh my God. Jai Lulu, you asked for it. You were the setter, okay? You know that. You know that. Precure Manga. Oh my god, Precure Manga, you're getting Precure Manga. Amazing, amazing. The only attack she has is Feather Blast from Hug Toe Flitter Stick, but she only used it once. <clears throat> the Anja is going to sit in his basement. Shadow is not weak. Friendy has beaten Anja for weakest shield. That is true. That is true. Frandy's shield hasn't worked, not even once. Unji's shield has worked in the, her debut episode. And that was it. Like, honey. Then, <laughs> it did not work anymore. <laughs> oh my god. And yes, what Constant Art, what Constant Art Block is saying is so true. Because we almost never have, in Precure, like inside the show... They don't talk about powers. Like, they don't talk, oh, you're so strong, I'm not strong. Oh, you're powerful, I'm not. They don't talk about that. They don't talk about their powers that much, you know? But then, they talk about Kira Anje. They say Kira Anje is weak. Like, Ruru analyzed Kira Anje and said, I'm sorry, I don't even have to deal with you. Just sit there. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was a big drag. That was the biggest drag ever in Precure. We'll never have something like that. We'll never have something like that. Shield cures in general aren't the strongest. Twixie, I think we have some strong shield cures nowadays. Uh, <clears throat> we have Milky... But, you know, like, Milky... It's, it's hard to say, because, like, Milky and Butterfly, they are shield cures, but at the same time, like, they have a finisher move that is not a shield, you know? It is different than Cure Mint, for example, in Yes, Precure 5. In Gogo, she has a finisher that is not a shield, but in Yes, Precure 5, she did not. She only had the shield. She had nothing else. Uh, Unjay, she only had, she only had the shield. Um... What else? Like, who else? Like, there are other... Like, Rosetta. They only have the shields. Like, they don't have anything else. You know? Butterfly and Milky, they at least had uh, finishers. Like, Splash Star Girls. The Splash Star Girls, <clears throat> they have... Uh, shields. They use shields. But they're super strong. You know? So, it's kind of hard to categorize. Like, it's... I don't really know how to categorize shield cures because some of them has fin have finishers, some of them don't have finishers. So it's a little hard. 
Bye, Kira Cosmo. Have a good night. Bye, bye. Bye, Emil. Bye. Thank you. Trendy's hair transformation has purple ombre. Yeah. Kira Butterfly's finisher is her shield. Yes, she presses. She presses it <clears throat> with her shield. Yeah, it's great. She is one of the most powerful ones, and Mint is very powerful too. Mint is very powerful. Spicy, spicy, also a shield cure. Spicy is a great shielder. Her shield worked most times. <laughs> and Spicy is amazing. I love Cure Spicy, so I'm always gonna talk about her. <clears throat> Let me start getting the arts to show because there are lots of arts. I need to know. Okay, I'm gonna try to do something about the questions. I'm very afraid for the questions, if the questions disappear. Oh, my profile picture is Yuki. Oh, I can't see, I'm sorry. It's so small, okay. Where are the questions? Sunshine is a very good shielder, yes. Coral, you know, Coral's Coral, Coral shield was cute. It not always worked, but it worked sometimes. And she has a finisher outside of the shield. So I like it. Wonderful shield is so cute. So cute. I love it. It's It looks so bouncy and fluffy. I ain't spamming about, about Kabaton like some overprotective mother. Girl. I don't talk about Kabaton as a mother. That I don't do. That I don't do. Just saying. Cure Fendi should have had purple hair tips in her cure form. Cure is cute, but it definitely doesn't work. Uh, I think I think Wonderful's Wonderful Shield worked. Both times she used it, it worked. It bounced the enemy back. Frandy's shield does not work. It breaks every time. Hmm. I don't know what happened to the questions. I'm gonna finish the poll because blue is winning. Okay. Blue is winning. <clears throat> I'm joking. That's not the reason. <laughs> but it's winning. Uh, I was gonna I was gonna say something else. But no. Um Let me get the arts ready for a showcase. We have aquatic. We have Ka we have Dak uh, Dakota Makopi, we have Karimar, and now let me open Twitter, because on Twitter, I know there's more. <clears throat> oh my God, so cute! Oh. And we have teacup as well. Oh my god, that's so cute. I love how creative people are. Like, people are so talented. I just love seeing everybody.
Your taste in villain is weird. Capitan is a pig, yet you cheated on Capard, a Dragon Ball reject character, and crab villain who I can't remember his name. His name is... Shongire. I can watch Precure real time now. Oh my god, Kafu! That's so nice! Are you in Japan? Or are you like... Are you in... Are you somewhere? The air is Precure? Delicious Party onwards are good with silhouettes. Yes, and one funny thing about silhouettes. Um, <clears throat> when we got uh, Hirogaru Sky... When we got Hirogaru Sky silhouettes, we did not see... We didn't have the cures yet. We did not have the leaks of the cures yet. So it was very funny to see people like trying to discover how they looked like based on the silhouettes. The artists <clears throat> were killing it. Uh, when it comes to the others, when it comes to the other seasons, uh, Delicious Party, we already had the designs except for Spicy. And what was the other? Wonderful. We also had the designs already. I'm happy with Wonderful, though, because uh, Wonderful, if we had the silhouettes before the designs, people would die because of Lillian, because she's not green enough, and in the, the silhouette she was. Ooh, honey. Kapart does look like a Dragon Ball Reject character. My brother bought a Chinese cable box that can watch everything around the world real time. That's so cool. You're going to be able to watch Madonna in Brazil. Guys, Madonna is coming to Brazil. She's coming to Copacabana. They, she's going to perform. She is going to perform there for free. It's the end of the celebration tour. Come join the party. It's a celebration. It's the end of the celebration tour. Well, the only day in South America. Madonna, I'm pissed because of that. And she's coming. And it's going to be free. I'm probably not going because it's going to air on national television. National television. Free. It's for free. Can you believe it? They are uh, uh, projecting 2 million people in the beach. Because it's going to be in Copacabana. It's, it's a beach. Ooh, girl. But I'm very happy she's coming to Brazil and she's doing a live show. And it's going to be televised. It's going to be on television. It's going to be on the biggest Brazilian TV channel. Na Globo. Madonna's birthday is in August. Yes, she's a Leo. Madonna's a Leo. That is why she's Madonna. I looked on Prime since I have the Crunchyroll extension on it. And Wonderful Precure was listed as historical drama. <laughs> historical drama. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. Let's get some arts shown. I'm opening the arts here. Let me just open the gotcha ones as well. So cute. Okay, now I have everything ready. Let's go check out some artworks from everybody. But before, just a magazine scan, because we haven't looked at it properly. <clears throat> oh. Look at that. Today we're going to have Komugi at school, and this is our first look at Komugi with a school uniform. She's going to wear shorts. Isn't that cool? I love it. Very nice, isn't it? Between green drama and boy drama, I feel most need to unplug a little bit. Come to 
the chaos drama that are the, the live streams here on Magical Cinema. Okay, let's start with Aquatic's artwork. Aquatic has said, What if Ma Mabayu Aki from Scene Zero of Magia Record is part of Hug to Precure? Let the world remember the Shining Embrace, the Precure of Memory, Cure Cineaste. Look at her. Oh my god, this is cute. Her ability is to manipulate memory as if it's a film reels, and her signature weapon is scissors to clip memory to make them forget. Her soul gem is circle that looks like camera lens. What? This is this this is kind of uh kind of eerie. I love it. And she looks so cute. She has some sort of Alina Gray vibes to me. Very nice, Aquatic. Very nice. Good job. Look at her. Look at this. This gave me Cure Sparkle vibes. I don't know why. Maybe it's the colors? Cure Cineaste. I love it. Ooh, look at that. The little brooch. I love this. Very cute. Makopi sent me this. Uh, Makopi isn't here today. She wasn't able to make it. But they said... Uh, I know I said I was going to take a break, but I decided to finish one last art for Starlight Detective Precure. Cure Adida and Cure Mystery Civilian Form. Ooh. Uh, uh, she's going hard for the feels and the drama for this. Mmm. Look at this one! Oh my god, I almost died. This is me and Kira Cinnamon. And Kadimar said, Sendrion, but it's Leo and Kira Cinnamon, based on the song by Dio's Signal P featuring Hatsune Miku and Kaito. I love Kadimar. Kadimar, I love when you do these artworks, getting me and Kira Cinnamon together, doing those special arts with the you know, replacing a Vocaloid thing. They always look so cool. I love this so, so, so much. I think this is incredible. Thank you very much for this artwork. So pretty. Love it. Now let's go for Constant Art Blocks Art with her new Precure season. Unpoint. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. On point Precure. And they said, I have a few this week. Some renders of our main duo and introducing the mid-seasons. Oh, uh, okay, so this is the, the two. Cure Darling and Cure Charming. I love them. And we also have those two. They are the mid-seasons. Cure Uncre... Un oh my god. Artblock wrote how to pronounce it, but even with this, I don't know how to pronounce it. Unk. Is that it? Unk? And Cure Plume. They're loosely based on the ballet Swan Lake. I love the Swan Lake story. I love the Swan Lake story. Every retelling of the Swan Lake story, I'm on. No, not the Swan Lake. I like the Black Swan. <laughs> I like the Black Swan. I love the Black Swan story. So much. It, it's scary, but it's great. Amazing. Thank you, Art Block. If I if you were a fruit, you'd be a fine apple. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness! I love the dad jokes, the dad flirts. I don't know. They were a couple. Very cute. Oh, he's blushing. Is he blushing by looking at him? I love this. Very much. This is by Teacup, who did a special welcome for Wonderful Precure before Wonderful Precure started. Uh, Teacup wanted to share this here with us. Very cute, isn't it? Look. A nice way to welcome Wonderful Precure in our lives. Love this. And now we have Geronimo, who has Cure Tornado. And Geronimo said, No new art today. But here are two old dragon... 
Your old design of one of my hero got to OC. Your tornado. Wait. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Um, Cure Tornado. Her themes are wind and storms. She's basically a villain turned into Cure and a rival to Soda. Girl, I would root for her. Look at her design. I love this. Look at her. Is this a fan? Why don't we have a fan as a weapon in Precure? Like... A cure with a fan as a weapon. I love it. And I love the hair as well. I obviously love the green. Honey, this is everything. I love this. And now for Shine's Gacha Creations. Shine is creating all of the teams in Gacha. And now we have Go Princess Precure. I love their faces. How can you make them look so, like, close to the actual designs? This is very impressive. Mahotsukai! They look sad. Do you know why they're sad like this? It's because we have no news on Mahotsukai Precure 2. Where are the news? Toy animation. Show us something about it, please. We have Kira Kira Precure a la mode, the best season ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at Parfait's head. Oh no. <laughs> She's Cure Soda, not Cure Parfait. Very cute. Hugto. Look at Anje. Anje's hair. It's a win. Oh my god, the buns in Hana's hair. Very cute. It all is looking like the Statue of Liberty. And now, Suta Twinkuru. I love it. I love how you can do their poses as well. Like, you can make them perfect. Like, the poses. Oh my god, look at, look at Cosmo's hair. Damn, you rocked this. You really did rock this. So many great arts. Thank you all so much for sharing. I... Love every time we get to see artworks for everyone. You know, it's just amazing. Uh, it's just amazing. It's just amazing to see... Uh, all the creativity, all the hard work of so many Precure fans working on like Precure, uh, Precure arts, like Precure fan arts, and also in their own creations, in their own seasons. I love it. I think it's so, so uh, fulfilling to be here, you know, and, and check out all the works. You know, I feel like the Precure fandom has so many great talents working so hard for so many things. I love this. Hector Precure has to have the most confusing ending ever. Ooh, girl. More than one timeline. If there's more than one timeline, it always confuses me. Always. Okay, uh... Let me see if we have merch for today. We do. We do have some merch to show. I think we can record a video on the merch. This is Repeated. Uh, this one. Oh, this one, I already opened it. Let me open the 
website too. This is from the pretty store. This is beautiful. Okay. The wonderful Breaker merch is being cute. The one thing I find weird is that they still don't have um, acrylic for, oh no, my chat. Something happened to the chat here. I can't see it. Okay. I think I can now. I, th I okay, it's back. Curing, I tried. I'm gonna try to do it again. Ask me anything. And then, oh. I think I discovered. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I think I discovered. Multiverse is a witch. Time travel in general always confuses me. Uh, Ladino Full Metal Alchemist. Yes, I do, Jay Lulu. I have watched Brotherhood. Very good. Very good. Kirsten Astor was originally part of Hugto to timeline rewritten, causing her to be erased from existence. <gasps> oh no. Aquatic, you're liking some tragic stuff lately. You are, aren't you? Hello, Zuzu, how are you? Welcome back. Poof Pink, is it your birthday? Is it your birthday? Here, there's, there's a tab. There's a tab for the questions. I'm gonna read the questions. I found it. It's very exciting. Um, okay, let me read the questions that were made. Hello, Ranger. Anthony Thomas has asked, who's your favorite villain from any Magical Girl series? That is a very hard question. I have a few. One of them is Galaxia from Sailor Moon. I love her and I love her story. I love her motives. It's very, very nice. And I feel like it's a very good uh, opposite from Sailor Moon. I love it. Uh, another one that I really love Uh, is um, Mistress Nine from Sailor Moon as well because you know we're talking about uh, Sailor uh, Sailor Saturn, which is one of my favorite characters. Uh, who else? I love Papru. And now I'm gonna have to say Kabaton is also another one of my favorites. And there's another villain that I really love who isn't necessarily a villain, but I'm not going to mention her here because it might be a spoiler. If you guys haven't seen Magic Knight Ray Earth, go watch it. It's incredible and it has one of my favorite villains. Uh, Toomey415 asked, Le, what do you think about Fairy Tail coming back this July? Toomey, I'm gonna be very honest and say I don't think about it because I have never finished Fairy Tale. I've never finished watching the original anime. I have watched like 50 episodes or something. I had like I had a month that I was obsessed with Fairy Tale and I watched a lot of it. But then I stopped and I never came back. I don't know why. Uh, of the solo films with a team up, when do we know a team up? Like a Tropical Ridge Hard Catch one that had to come out pre that crazy episode. Yeah, it was before that episode. Uh, that episode was 33. 
So it was kind of close to the movie release already. Uh, I think, uh, for example, we had Tropical... When, Tropical, when the Tropical Rouge movie was announced, it was already announced with a crossover. It was already announced with a crossover. I am not sure about the Hiroga, Hiroga, no, the, the, oh my God, Healing Good one, because Healing Good was also a crossover. I'm not sure if the Healing Good movie was announced first and then we saw the S5 Go Go Girls later on. So I am not sure. And Amarashi asks, my favorite precure opening and ending. My favorite opening, I will say, sweet, sweet, booty, cute. Ah, I love that song. And my favorite ending is Dear Shine Sky. Dear Shine Sky, so da no omajinai. Bye, masks. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye, Federico. Happy Easter. Eat lots of chocolate if you can. Just finished watching Doki Doki Precure. It was so good, and I have a question. What was your favorite cure in the start of the series? Rosetta was my favorite at the start. I remember the Healing Good Movie website, and it only showed Grace Fontaine and Sparkle in Tokyo with flying fish. Okay. Was it even before Earth? Because we had the pandemic, we had the hiatus. Oh. I love Dear Shine Sky. Kafu. Dear Shine. I even have the, the single. I love this cover. Bye, Geronimo. I love this. And it even has a picture. It comes with a little. Ooh. Magic Ray Magic Knight Ray Earth is so good. It is. It is perfect. It is so like it takes me back. It takes me back like the surprise, like the twist at the end of the first season. Girl, that always, always, always takes me. Clamp knows how to do it. Clamp knows how to do it. Oh my god. Well, for months I thought your Dear Shine Sky praise was ironic. I can't believe it, Imani! No! <laughs> no! No way! I can't believe you thought it was ironic. It's not. It is true love. True love. True love, true blue. I'm singing true blue. But it, but she sings. It's true love. But uh, it's true. It is real. My favorite villains are Galactic from Serum and Kapar from Star Twinkle. I love Nova. I love Nova. I love it. Nova is amazing. But she's not my favorite from Rager. The fact Dear Shine Sky debuted when Sada lost the will of being a hero, a spree hero always an evident a new ending right when something bad happens to someone. <laughs> it was so funny, Sada was desperate. Dear Shine Sky, Sada, no, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I have never seen Lowly Rock. I promised I was gonna watch, but I will. I don't know how, but I thought it was sarcasm. It's it's pure love. <laughs> it's pure love. I love it. Like deeply. Deep inside my heart, there's love. Pure love for this. Uh oh, I need to change the song. This one finished. Let's go to Sessions Diana now. Let's get chill. 
Getting to your Shine's character sort of being traumatized is so funny. <laughs> like, what new spring anime you're looking forward to? Emmanuel, I'm watching uh, Spice and Wolf. <clears throat> I'm watching Blue Archive. I'm watching Bartender. I am watching the hero one. I forgot the name. I forgot the name of so many. Of so many. Of the anime. But I, like, those ones I know I'm watching, but I'm probably watching more. I'm just probably forgetting some of them. Hello, Brandon. Hello, enjoy. Which Precure manga should I get? Hirogaru Sky. <laughs> it has Agha, so go with Hirogaru. I hope today's episode in Wonderful Precure has a good fighting scene. I'm still fighting for a dual transformation. A <laughs> mood, I'm sorry. Okay, let's see if we have new questions. Oh my god, Kafu, you're scaring me. Thoughts on Hoseki no Kuni ending? Zuzu, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I'm I'm reading the manga that is getting released here in Brazil. So I'm very behind. I'm very behind. It's going to take a while for me to get to the ending. Kafu, your question did not appear. I don't know why. Brandon, it's your birthday! You know what that means. And the beat goes on, and the beat goes on. I'm a happy girl, I'm a happy girl. It's my birthday song. Oh, yeah. It's my... I'm a happy girl, I'm a happy girl. <coughs> I know it's gonna be a good day. Oh, yeah. Today's my birthday. <laughs> My type of party, there's no hangover. Nah, 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 you better come over. We get high and we still stay sober. My type of party, there's no hangover. And the beat goes on, and the beat goes on. Happy birthday, Brandon. I hope you have the best day ever. Enjoy yourself. Go eat a delicious cake because there's no cake here. I want a piece of cake too. Oh, now I'm craving cake. I'm craving cake. Zuzu, the last volume I read was volume six, I think. So it's like, I'm very behind on the story. Very behind. But you know, the Brazil releases, they are kind of slow. It's a good thing, because you know. There's, there's a manga getting released here in Brazil. I saw it this week and I was so happy. Now I forgot which manga it was. Was it a BL? Or was it a Maho Shoujo? I think it was a BL. Because Maho Shoujo here in Brazil, it's very rare. Uh, I don't know, I'm so confused. There was like a super good announcement. But I'm gonna remember. Uh, have you guys seen, do you know, do you guys, I think you guys probably know because she's a very big artist. Hanavi Bada, they are very big. Hanavi Bada, do you know that? Did you guys see that the store is open? Girl, when I saw this, I was like, honey, should I get something? And this is important. Worldwide shipping available. Ooh. Every order gets a free sticker from Usagi. And it, everything is so good. There are so many good prints. Post, I don't know, like I was thinking maybe getting a few prints and maybe a poster photo card there are so many great artworks it's it's even hard to look 
at like what should I get? Like I was thinking of maybe getting this one from Sailor Moon. You know, Hotaru's here, so it's a win for me. Look at this one from Nana. Oh, girl, Nana's so good. Oh, my God. Nana's on Netflix now, by the way. If you haven't watched Nana, go watch Nana. You never heard of them, Mimi Show? You should check them out. Ooh, girl. So there's also Jujutsu Kaisen. They do like this 90s anime style. It's very good. There, there's some Jujutsu ones as well. But I, I love Jujutsu. Look at this one from Nana. Honey. Look at Hachiko. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. This Doremi one is so good. I just I just started. I just saw Hana being born. Is this Majorica? No. I love this. So good. Look at the Sermon one. <gasps> Ooh, my god. God. Oh, this Nana one. Oh, damn it. The 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 link. I think this this is it. Yeah. There's Winx as well. I need to, we need to continue watching Winx. Oh my god, I love this. So beautiful. What is this from? Cute. <laughs> mean Girls. Love it. Harp of Girls. Damn, it's so good. Like, their artwork is out of this world. So I'm like, oh, there's Utena. <gasps> oh my God. Favorite R Rihanna songs. Oh, na na. What's my name? I love What's My Name. <laughs> I'm so fancy. So yeah, Rihanna. What's my name? I love Firebomb. Firebomb is one of the best Rihanna songs. It's so overlooked. You should listen to it. I love Kiss It Better. Seven Rings. So cool. There are so many nice prints and so many, like, from so many different franchises. Oh my god, there's Kokomi and Goro. I love them. Oh my god. I love it. Those Mermaid Melody ones, they're new, right? I love this one too. Mermaid Melody is one I have to finish. I have to watch the second season. I have to finish Mermaid Melody. Damn. The the artworks from Han Oh my god, Blackpink. If she did like the Spice Girls. I would not survive. <gasps> Doji! battle's just beginning oh my god i love him stickers let's check out the stickers oh no stickers and others bye Bing. thank you sigerman makeup stickers photo card pack bts stickers acrylic oh my god thankfully it's just BTS. A tote bag. Oh my god. This tote bag looks awesome. Look at that. Oh my god. This is suffering. I don't know if I'm gonna get something from the store. Need to look for a Sukuna one. I think there's one. <laughs> I mean, you are the Sukuna queen. There should be a Fifth Harmony one. I agree. I'm sorry, Aqua. I put the least amount of ads. Like, 
when I go select the, the amount of ads there's going to be on stream, I, I always put the least amount. But what if there was an India mid skin mail cure and a bunny cure transformation into a dinosaur cure? And purple is white cure was one of the dinosaur cure sister cure. Enjoy. You say dinosaur. I say I'm in. I love dinosaurs. <clears throat> I need to record a merch video. There's this one. <clears throat> Let me just check something out. Okay. How is this? What is this called? Wonderful Puricua Suito Parudor. Sweet Paldo. Sweet Pearl Dolls. <laughs> Sweet Pearl Dolls. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I think I should leave this one for last. But this one is the last one. What is this? Oh, this is this. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's let's go. Let's go for a merch a little merch video. Let's record. Starting with those two cuties. They're so adorable. I think I'm going to start with this picture. Make them bigger a little bit. Okay. And no, let me just see if everything is right here, 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 and then this, and then this. I don't need this. Okay, so let's go. <clears throat> let me just open this here. Uh, do we have a date? Not yet. <clears throat> Let's go. So I'm going to record a video now. Bye, Kerwing. Bye, Marianne. Happy Easter, babies. Happy Easter. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Okay, so I'm going to record a video now. So I'm not going to be reading the chat much. I will read the messages after I finish. Thank you for bearing with me. Let's go. <clears throat> Three, two, one, start. Hello, everyone. It's Lel, and this is another one of those merch videos in which we're checking out some new releases from the Precure universe. This time, mostly focused on Wonderful Precure, but there's also some All Stars sprinkled in the middle. So let's start with those two cuties that are not only the only two from this collection. Those are the Sweet Pearl Dolls from the Wonderful Precure line. They are super adorable and they have already been released. They were released March 25th. So they are already out. They are very cheap and they are very, very cute. If you are collecting Wonderful Precure stuff, I feel like this is a nice one to have in your collection. So we are getting uh, Cure Wonderful, as we can see here, as we can also see in this very adorable picture of both of them. I think this looks so cute. Both Wonderful and Friendy looking very, very nice. We can see that there's, there isn't much detail in the, the costumes and everything, but I feel like it just adds to the charm of the figure. Apart from the other two, the collection is also complete with Komugi or human Komugi, dog Komugi, and human 
iroha, or I mean, hir, iroha, <laughs> you know, human cure friendly. Just inukai iroha. You can get those on Japanese stores, like local stores, and if you'd like to get them,、uh, if you're not in Japan, you can always find them on websites like Mercari and buy them second hand. Another piece of merchandise which is very interesting to take a look at is Secret Jewelry Charm that is coming out right now. Right now, not right now exactly, because it's coming out in April. This is a nice one for you to, for us to take a look at. But before we take a look at the actual collection, let's admire the beautiful artworks that we have for black and white. Our OGs, our queens, where it all began, and where the franchise is right now. Cure Wonderful and Cure Friendly. Very, very beautiful. One of the nice things about this collection, not nice, but this is a nice observation to make about this collection. This is the first piece of merchandise that was released last year, even before we knew Wonderful Precure. That we got to understand that Wonderful Precure would probably start with a duo. We theorized that because of this collection, and we were not wrong. This collection features lots of cures from lots of different seasons, as we can see here. So, if we take a look at this picture, we can see the full lineup. We have Cure Black and Cure White, Cure Dream, Milky Rose, Cure Heart, Cure Whip, Cure Summer, Cure La Mer, Cure Wonderful. And cure friendly. We also have some mascots as well. We have、uh, Maple and Meeple. We have so these are not mascots. These are transformation devices. So、uh, or transformation charms. For it depends on the season that you know we're taking a look at. So we can see、uh, the one from Futariwa here. We can see Yes Breaker Five here. We have two charms from Yes Breaker Five. We have one from Doki Doki. To go along with Cure Heart, we have one from Kira Kira Precure. We have two from Kira Kira Precure. Actually, we have Pecoring. Pecoring, I love you so much. We have the lipstick from、uh, Tropical Rouge, and also Kudurun from Tropical Rouge. Oh my God, Kudurun, we love you. And one from Wonderful Precure, we have the Pact, and we have Dog Komugi as well. Those arts, though, those pieces of jewelry are very, very beautiful. I think they are very charming, very cute, and we can see both of the merch that we we were looking at in this picture that the official Precure merch、uh, Twitter account shared. So we can we see the pearl dolls here, and we see the jewelry here. Very cute. Some of the jewelry we don't see all of them here, obviously, unfortunately. But、uh, some of them connect with each other. Where is the picture here? So we we, we can see Cure Wonderful connecting with Cure Friendly. Very cute, isn't it? And another thing from Wonderful Precure is a new set of keychains that are focused on the kidding animals. Is also getting released. This is also getting released in April, and we have nine keychains for the nine kidding animals that we are going to see in the show. They are going to be sold at the pretty stores. And one very funny thing that、uh, they did here is that they have like the picture of the kidding animals. It's five centimeters. It's not very big. It's going to look very cute in person for sure. And as you can see, we have the artwork. And they romanized.、Uh, they used romaji for the Japanese names of all of them. So we have Kiriring Animaru here in the tag, and the name of the Kiriring animal here, the the animal they are. So we don't have.、Uh, we have the way it is in Japanese. So Kiriring Usagi is here romanized as actually Kiriring Usagi. Usagi means rabbit. So we have this for all the others. Kiriring Panda. Is okay, and kidding hamster, hamsta, which is how it's written in katakana. Kidding udayon, kidding kojika. Kojika is the actual name, so you know it's the Japanese name. So we have kidding suwan, kidding kitsune, kidding bear, and kidding penguin. 
I think this just adds to this charm of this line. Very, very cute. I would love to have the Kirin Swan in my collection. It's way too adorable. I'm gonna have to zoom in on this. Look at this face. Look at this. How can you not love it? To pieces. I love it so much. It's so cute. I feel like this line is a very cute line and it's a very nice thing that they are releasing this kind of merch because we do have plushies for the kidding animals, but they are a little bit more expensive. Uh, they come with their houses as well. They are a little bit more expensive. So having this uh, option. So if you are someone who likes the kidding animals and can't pay much for merch, but you still wanted some merch for the kidding animals, you are going to be able to have them because, you know, they are not going to be uh, an expensive option for merchandise. And also another thing is that I feel like the artworks for the kitten animals, they are super charming. And this makes me very curious to see them in the show. And I hope that when they appear in the show, they appear more so we can see them more. We can see them like acting more and interacting more with the cures and all, you know, because this just looks so adorable. Every one of them looks super precious and, you know, just, just makes me want to see them more and more in the show. It seems that this week we're going to see the swan being purified. So we're probably going to see this one in action soon enough. And until May, we're going to have all the kidding animals collected because they are getting released until May. The plushies are getting released until May. This collection is getting released in April in the pretty stores. So if you are in Japan, you are going to be able to snatch your favorite kidding animal as a keychain. And if you are in Japan and you like Precure merch, you are going to be able to snatch a lot of great Precure merch this month. Um, there's obviously more to come. We, we are with the Easter collection right now in the pretty stores, but we're going to have more for sure, uh, from the pretty stores, uh, acrylic and botan collection. Uh, we're definitely going to have more soon. And I'm very excited because the wonderful artworks are looking super cute. Anyways, babies, this is it for now. I always love taking a look at merchandise because it just makes me, I mean, I'm not going to be able to buy them. So I'm, I just have to get my urges somehow. So it's always nice to take a look at them with you. So thank you for bearing with me in those videos. Anyways, this is it for now. I want to take this little time to thank the members of the Magical Cinnamon channel. If you are a member here on YouTube, if you support me through Patreon or Throne, thank you very, very much for making Magical Cinnamon possible. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. And if you've watched Apotona, thank you so much as well. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye. Did it. Hello, my Sora. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, Gotcha Berry. Hello. I call it Nyami Human Form April. Nice. I love Kidding Bear. I bought the plushie already. Good job. Good job. I love Boy Cures, but I'm giving Precure fully respect. I just want to tell you. What happens after all nine are collected? They say, they say, are they lying? Maybe. They say, May May says, and I trust May May. I trust May May with my life. I love him. I love May May. May May says, if you collect all of them, if they are all returned, Nico Sama will return to Nico Garden. Is it true? Is Nico Sama returning? Is Nico Sama returning? Tell me right now. Tell it to my heart. Tell me I'm the only one. Oh my God, Brand. Oh, damn.
<laughs> Brandon, thank you. Brandon, on break. Thank you very much. Thank you for becoming innocent form. Thank you. As you are an innocent form member, you can choose two characters to be on screen. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you want, you can choose right now. Thank you, Matthew. Bye bye. I trust May May. Watch him be the new Fennel. Shut up. No. Fennel was hot, though. After he became um, Godots, he was hot. May May won't be. I think. It would be funny if Meme was a villain. It would be funny. It would be funny. You know why? The joke characters are characters we don't tend to take seriously. So it would be a surprise. You want to be a villain, an undercover villain? Just play the fool. Play the fool. No one will suspect you. People will think you're too dumb. Play the fool. <clears throat> We're getting a new screen next week. April 1st is Monday. I might do a stream on Monday. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, but I might. If I do it, we're already going to set up the screen and maybe something else. Is there something else for me to take a look at on stream? Oh, another thing that I want to tell you is that I need to go to the bathroom. But no, it's not that I that's not what I wanted to say. I am going to try. I'm not going to be I'm not I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. Where is my cell phone? I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that this month, but I want to play I want to play Damn. Oh my god. Guys. Did you guys watch Sabrina? Hello, Liz. How are you? Did you guys watch Sabrina on Netflix? Damn. Damn it. Do you know that guy who was Sabrina's cousin? I don't remember his name in the show. He just passed away. He's just passed away. Damn, I'm shook. Like shook in a bad way. I am shocked. That's the right word. I'm shocked. Oh my god. So young. Uh Cure Happy and Cure Flora, let's go. Let's add them to the screen because it's almost time to finish. Oh, the one thing I was going to say was that I am thinking of playing Little Goody Two Shoes on stream. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking of like streaming my, my full game, the full game. So I might do that here. I don't know if this is the flora you want. Yeah, that's sad, isn't it? I like he it, it seems that he he got involved in a he was in a bike. He got in a bike accident. Bikes are so dangerous. Can I use this cure flora? Cuz I just I don't know why I think this dress is very Easter-y. I don't know why. 
can be here. I love this. I love the cake ish dresses like this. Uh, and the other one is happy. Cure happy. Thank you very much, Brandon. Thank you for filling up the screen last minute. So she's gonna be she's gonna have to be here. This side of the screen. Thank you. Bye, enjoy. Bye bye. Thank you. Happy Easter. I have heard about it, Liz. I have heard about it. And I want to start watching Balala the Fairies. I want to watch at least one season. But I just need the time. Right now, my focus is on Doremi. My Agaha collection is big, isn't it, Pink Gotcha Berry? Girl, my collection is everything. By the way, I have released a video on my Agaha collection. If you haven't seen, you can check it out. Let me shamelessly plug a promo. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm thinking of streaming Little Goody Two Shoes here. Um, so if you'd like to watch, please stay tuned. Cure Butterfly Collection. Uh, let me th let's see if, if there's Any new questions? Can you update your favorite cures from each season? Gotcha Berry, I can. But it hasn't changed. It hasn't changed, honestly. Because uh, I, it hasn't changed. So let, let me start from Healing Good onwards. Healing Good is Cure Fontaine. Tropical Rouge is Cure Papaya. Almost Cure La Mer, but I think Cure Papaya number one. Delicious Party Cure Spicy. After Delicious Party, I mean... Cure Butterfly, and from Wonderful, I still don't know. Obviously, uh, have you started a Lillian and Nemi collection? Miami Show, not yet. You know why? I haven't. Because I don't know which one of them I will like more. So I feel like Butterfly was a clear favorite of mine. And I, like, we saw that we saw her in episode 5. So we saw her episode 4. Episode 4? Episode 4. So we, we got to know her very early on in the show. Mayu and Yuki, we already know both of them. But I still haven't decided the ones... The one that I will like more. I, I don't know. So I will probably wait a little more. I am like when we got the reveal. Nyami was my favorite. And then after some weeks. I started warming up to Lillian. And Lillian was my favorite. Uh, after Lillian. Uh, and then, then recently. Watching Yuki in the show. I feel like Yuki might be my favorite. Even though I think that uh, Mayu is a great character. Mayu is gorge, gorge, gorge. Uh, we have the wonderful artwork for today. Let's take a look. Episode 9. Look at this. Komugi Inukai. This is the Kamikita Twins artwork for today. Wonderful Precure, episode 9. Komugi Inukai, Komugi Junior High School Student 1. 
Very cute, isn't it? I love it. They're coming here, the twins. You said Nyami, stick with it. I don't need to stick with it. You know why, Emmanuel? Because I am a Gemini. You've made it clear that Nyami has captured your heart. Design-wise, she did. But I really need to see them in action, you know? Well, we will both love Nyami, Sama, and Lillian Sun. Would that be okay? Liz, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like both. But I will have a favorite. I will have a favorite. And if I want to collect something from this character, I will have to collect only from my favorite and not from two characters. Oh my god. Collecting two characters would not be easy. So yeah, right now, I don't know. It might be Nyami, it might be Lillian. I'm leaning more towards Nyami. <clears throat> not gonna lie. I'm leaning more towards Nyami. Uh, and next week, we are getting a Yuki episode. We're gonna learn how... Uh, Mayu and Yuki got to know each other. So that is also very exciting. And before next week's episode, we will have episode titles. That makes me even more excited. Ooh, girl. Hello, Spade. How are you? What precure season do you think has the best powers? When it comes to the attacks... Hirogato had some nice stock footage on the attacks. I loved them. Uh, Star Twinkle also had some great ones. Go Princess, Happiness Charge, Hard Catch. If I were a cure, I would be Cure Rosetta because she's rich. I would be Alice because she's rich. Because I would not have to work. I would I would be able to commission all the artists I want. I would be able to go to Japan. I would be able to commission my friends to do lots of things. I would commission my friends to go out with me. Like I mean, you know, just to just to, just to commission them. Like, oh, let's go out. Okay, I'm commissioning you. I love Star Twinkles of Fluffy Mush. Me too. Me too, Pink Gotcha Bear. Me too. Ah! I love Star Twinkle. And I've been playing Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. What happens? What is happening? Alice works. I, I know, Shine. I know. But if I were her, if I were her, I would be a different Alice. <laughs> I would be a different Alice. Ooh, girl. Kira Rosette is sweet. She is. She is a sweet character. I've been playing lots of Final Fantasy. I've been spending... Like, yesterday was a weekend. A weekend. A uh, holiday. Holiday! I would... Spend. So no, I was, what I was saying was I was I spent a lot of my time uh, playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Lots of oh, oh my god, moments and moments and moments. I was shook. Spade, I did not see the trailer. You know why I didn't? There's a reason. I If I were a cure, I would be Ageha. You know why I would be Ageha? She lives in the same world as Kabaton. I would have a chance. I would have a chance.
also April. April will bring a lot of new shows to us, right? Not a lot of new anime. I don't think there is a magical girl show in April. But I will watch Himitsu no Aipri, and I'm thinking of covering it here on the channel, so I will probably do it in a different format, though. It makes sense. Thank you, Fluttershy. <laughs> Thank you for understanding me. There was such an a part in Final Fantasy that was so nice. It's like a, a play. I'm lagging. I'm lagging. I am. It's not green. Oh my god, my connection. I'm sorry. My connection is acting up. It is indeed. Damn it. I think it's stabilized now. It's green now. It might have. Or maybe no. Damn it. No way. Anyways, if it does not, if it stops working, let me just tell you my plans for April. I have two big plans for April. To be, I have a plan for April. Which is, uh, uh, Monday, I will do a stream on Monday to set up the screen and do something else on the stream. And also stream, um, uh, if it's possible, if I am able to get the game, uh, what's the name of the game? Ooh, girl, the lag. It is indeed lagging. But, I don't know. So, the second thing is, I might... It's all... It's red again. I might stream Little Goody Two Shoes, which is a game... <clears throat> uh... That I want to play. Rank your mid-season cures. Emmanuel, I have a question for you. Do you consider Cure Butterfly a mid-season or not? It will depend on your answer. What's the name of the game? Does it mean anything to you? Wait, let me let me take off. I don't know. Does it mean anything to you? I don't know what game that is. I don't know. Amarachi, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for coming back to the stream. Thank you. Thank you for joining again. I know you were singing. Oh, okay. That's not related to the game. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what the the game I want to play on stream is Little Goody Two Shoes. Uh, Cure Butterfly is a mid season to me. Okay, so if you are considering Cure Butterfly a mid season, number one, Cure Butterfly. Number two, Cure Fortune. Number three, Cure Muse. Number four, Cure Moonlight. Am I missing some? Maybe, but. Maybe not. And number five, I would probably say maybe Parfait? Passion? Passion. Probably Passion. And Parfait six. I don't know. Hard. But it depends, because if you put Cure Honey on the equation, it would change. Cure Wing on the equation, it would also change. So it depends. It really depends on what you consider mid-season or not. Just saying. 
But Butterfly will be always number one. And if you don't consider Butterfly a mid-season, Cure Fortune. If you don't consider Cure Fortune a mid-season, Block. You... No. No, but honestly, she is. Like, Moonlight, Muse. So yeah, those are my favorites. Moonlight, Muse, and Fortune. And Butterfly, if you consider Butterfly. Look at her. Fortune. Hey there. Anyways, everybody, I am gonna finish this stream a little earlier than usual because I'm very, very hungry. Like, I really, really need to eat. Dear God, I am hungry. But before I finish, let's take a picture. How do I make it full screen? Is is it possible? Oh, it's here. So, pose with me. Wh who, who is gonna pose with me? Butterfly, because the screen is pink. Let me get her. I wanna get this because uh, I love this screen. Oh no, just because I said I was gonna take a picture, it got blurry. Uh, I want to take a picture. Come on, focus on me. Focus on butterfly. No. What if I? No. Focus is back. Don't. Okay. She's here. She's here. We're taking a picture together for the screen this month. Thank you for an amazing month of live streams, which was March. The screen is so colorful, and I love the green there. It looks amazing. I forgot one thing that I will do after the picture. Take a picture with me. Three, two, one, pose. Yay. Okay, before we finish, I forgot about one thing. If you are a member here on Magical Cinnamon, you are helping us choose the Pokemon and Precure teams. And today we are going to reveal another Precure team another Pokemon team for a Precure, and also start a new one. Last week we asked you, who was, who should be the Pokemon for Cure Heart? You chose this team for Cure Heart. Jigglypuff and Shiny Baneri are your picks. Very cute. Thank you for taking a screenshot, Queen Aqua. Thank you. I love this team for, for Heart. Very adorable. I just hate that Jigglypuff is here because Cure Heart sings badly. Jigglypuff is a rock star, okay? And now you are helping us fill up another team. Cure Papaya. We have some funny looking and fruity Pokemon here and a ghost Pokemon because Cure Papaya liked to play pranks on our friend Manatsu, who are going to be the last two Pokemon in Papaya's team. If you are a member here on Magical Cinnamon, you can help us choose. You just have to go to the community tab in the Papaya post and vote for your favorite. Just comment your favorite. If you are not a member, you can help us choose on Instagram. Instagram is a collab between Magical Cinnamon and Bahamut Blast. So go to Bahamut Blast on Instagram and comment the Pokemon you want to see in Papaya's team. I don't know if Magical already posted Papaya. Let me see, let me see. Uh, not yet. When they do, I will put post here too on the community tab and you can help us choose. Anyways, babies, it is time for us to finish the stream. Thank you all very, very much for an amazing month of live streams in March. I had a lot of fun and I love the chaos of those live streams. I love when we get very chaotic. I have so much fun and I hope you do too, because it's all for fun. 
no hard feelings on anything. Let's just keep it like this. Peaceful, fun, and chaotic. Peaceful and chaotic don't go along very well, but it does get along here on Magical Cinnamon because we make it work, don't we? Anyways, babies, thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you for keeping up with the live streams. Next week, we are getting episode titles. They are coming. What's coming in April for Wonderful Precure? I'm curious. Are you curious? I know I am. Anyways, babies, have a good night. Happy Easter. Bye-bye.